Single parenting isn't easy. We understand. Most parents don't plan to go it alone, but you can still make the most of this journey for your children and yourself. In fact, if you and your family are on that journey, this podcast is for you. Welcome to the Single Parent Advocate community and to our podcast. And here are your hosts, single parent founder, Stacey Poitras, broadcast journalist, single dad and friend, Daryl Moody. Hello once again. Thank you for joining us on Single Parent Advocate. I am your host, Daryl Moody, joining you from my home studios here in Orlando, Florida. We're joined once again by Stacey Poitras, the Single Parent Advocate. She is in those beautiful SPA studios there, courtesy of Work Innovators Network at VentureX, the Realm at Castle Hills in Dallas, Texas. Uh, we also have a guest with us this week. His name is Brent Sutcliffe. Uh, if you're a gamer, you may know him from Twitch, his channel Rack TV. Brent, thanks for joining us as well. Stacy, bring us up to speed. Uh, what do you have going on this week with Single Parent Advocate? So tomorrow, Saturday, we are going to be on site at the Colony High School distributing food and diapers alongside one of our sponsors, Huffine Chevrolet, um, a sister organization in service uh, called Love for Kids, as well as a few other charities. And um, we're super excited. A lot of businesses are gathering together. We'll be serving over 1,800 boxes of food to uh, the community. I pushed out information on this uh, on our Facebook channel this week so that any families in the area who need food or who know someone who needs food can have them drive by and they will be blessed with just a trunk full of goodies. Um, There's another company coming alongside of us uh, called Hope Supply Company. Mm -hmm. They are providing SCADs, Daryl. What is a SCAD? SCADs of diapers. A SCAD is a very large amount of diapers. So my job cool. tomorrow is to join uh, my friends from the Louisville Chamber of Commerce. A lot of the ladies are coming and my besties coming. And I think Katie, the intern's coming too. And we are going to fold diapers, sort them by size. And so any families that come through that want food and also need diapers will be getting diapers. I'm p- really kind of pumped about it. I love doing a collaborative event like this. Well, and we didn't talk about this last week. So is this kind of a last minute thing? Did you get an opportunity to join? Okay. It's a pop up. Um, We are working uh, to get more advance notice on these types of things. But, you know, if you're uh, listening to the program on Friday night and you want to come Saturday morning, it runs from 11 to 1. I'm getting there early to do a lot of pre-work and prep so that as families drive through the Colony High School, uh, you know, they don't have a lot of waiting to do. We'll have volunteers on site getting ready to bless families with um, probably much needed food. You know, the kids come home for the summer and when school's out and all of a sudden that grocery bill goes way yep. up. And uh, that's tough. That's tough for single families. That's tough for a lot of kinds of families. And you know, so, in this, I don't mean to interrupt you. I'm sorry. It's, it's remarkable the way uh, these pop-up events happen so quickly. It's like one organization gets an influx of one thing and another one, and then all of a sudden you've got a collaboration and then something like this comes together. You guys are going to be able to help a lot of people. Yeah, we really are. And we hope that we'll uh, see some new faces that maybe we can help long-term with our program here in the DFW area. Um, I also had an interview um, I think we'll move forward with. I think you and I kind of talked about it. Um, Fishbowl Radio Network wants to pick up our podcast. Nice. So um, super excited about that. So I'm waiting on some information and I'll be, uh, you know, making sure all of us have that information. And and then now, you know, I've been working really closely with Brent to, uh, you know, really kind of highlight and make plans for father's day you know and then like I, like we said right after that it's back to school uh getting some backpacks for all of our kids uh here in town and scholarships for uh any parent that's in college we like we want to buy their school books so. and we'll get we'll get to brent's effort uh in a moment but yeah. let's catch everybody up with, the, with with your father's day stuff where are we uh with with getting some 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 fathers there in the dallas area to uh, get some some unique experiences for them. Where are we on that effort? So what we have is uh, we have about 11 dads really that have answered, you know, hey, yeah, you know, raised my hand. What's unique about uh, what we've heard from those fathers is um, their heart's not into fun right now, which was is 
honestly kind of sad to hear. Uh, we have uh, some that are out of work and just looking to, you know, provide for their kids and have simple at home times together, you know, uh, any relief that they need and want um, really relates to uh, the, you know, keeping the lights on, keeping the rent paid and uh, making sure everybody is fed. Well, so, and, that's, um, and that's the challenge of all single dads is, you know, we're all we're all focused on on meeting our kids needs and, and keeping the ship running and and, and providing uh, the family with what we all need. So it's, you know, it's kind of unfortunate that at a time like this, when you're trying to offer these dads, you know, a unique experience, I'm sure some of them are like, that's great, but that's the furthest thing from my mind. Uh, if you're going to spend money on me, I, I need, uh, you know, this and the other. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, um, maybe we will be fortunate enough to give both, you know, it would be really cool. Well, if folks want to help with that, go to singleparentadvocate.org and donate. That's right. We've been doctoring up our donate page. It's, um, I think, launched right now with our new giving platform. And uh, we just welcome everybody, you know, just know whenever you give, it goes, it goes to families that have been nominated by area churches, schools, business associations, even other single parents when they see someone falling falling through the gap. And so these are folks that usually don't get help because uh, they don't really fit into the normal system of aid. And uh, we try really hard to be discreet and make sure all families feel empowered, equipped, educated, and um, you know, they're, they feel safe to talk about what's going on in their lives. And uh, the, the charity, you know, really does support them. So, and thanks in advance to everybody who gives. We, we, we um, partner with a lot of folks and um, we're very grateful. Well, it's it's a collaborative effort. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day and obviously you guys have a lot of uh, other entities there working with you. Uh, catch the viewers and the listeners up to date with the back to school supply drive and the backpacks. Uh, what's the latest on that? So back to school is always fun. Um, we are working on getting a location named where we can distribute. Um, everybody can come and either come inside here in Texas, you know, or um, do another drive through. We're hoping we can, you know, in the summertime, it gets pretty hot here. And so, you know, we want to try to have an indoor event or at least at least let people park and then come inside so that they can um, be given some school supplies and you know single parent advocate does not skimp on school supplies you don't get get a pre-filled box we have these fantastic team of women that they research all of the isds look at the supply list and harmonize them as best as possible and then they put i mean these backpacks are heavy filled with everything you could possibly need uh, for all grades uh, pre-k to to seniors in high school and uh, you know then we also provide like fun you know we'll have a snow cone machine there from Matthew 6 Ministries uh, they have a snow cone truck and we'll have other types of things available on site you know so we're just looking for a home for that whenever we get that solidified then I'll be able to push that out to the community and we'll be able to help families uh, just like we have I guess for 12 years now Daryl you know, one of the things that I love about the podcast, uh, in addition to being a source of uh, support and, and maybe, you know, tips and that sort of thing for our, for our community of listeners, it's exciting for me to see uh, the behind the scenes of how a nonprofit organization like Single Parent Advocate works and all of the, all of the you know, the weeks and months of, of legwork that go into various events like your Father's Day event, like the back to school event. It's, uh, it's for me, it's really neat to, to watch these things come to fruition. Yeah, you know, and I, 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 I was talking with someone yesterday. Um, they were asking me, you know, about my business and um, many people know, you know, my business, I have a marketing business and I founded it the same day I founded Single Parent Advocate. And I founded uh, them as two separate entities. 
in these days, a lot of times you get a business that says, I'm a business and I have a cause that I contribute to. And this is the cause that I contribute to. Mm-hmm. And um, I guess back when I did this, it didn't, it didn't really exist. And I was a single parent and I had really fallen in a gap and it really, um, it was scary. It was scary and I, I know it's still scary for a lot of people. Um, so I wanted my time in that space to be the difference that I saw it, right? So I established two different businesses. And um, I said just yesterday, you know, um, a charity is a type of business. And it, and I've learned over time, you know, it's not just a give back for me. It's, it's truly a business I take very seriously. I have responsibilities to the families that allow us into their lives. I have responsibilities to those who lean in and give and trust us to support those families and volunteers that come along that want to know that their time that they give is going to actually mean something, you know? And so it's, it's a privilege. I, I count it very, very uh, high on the thanks scale, you know, that I get to do this. I get to do this and um, it was founded in love. It was founded in a commitment to being the change that I seek. Well, and if I can just kind of sing your praises, I mean, I don't know what the success rate of nonprofit organizations is, but most small businesses is about 50-50. So for you to launch a small business and a nonprofit organization on the same day and to have them both in operation a decade later, Kudos to you, uh, Miss Stacy. That's that's pretty remarkable. Crazy like a fox. <laughs> Those are the ones you watch out for. The good kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, Brent just said good kind of crazy. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hey, Brent, tell us your story. You, like I said, you're a gamer. You uh, are on Twitch, which is a, a platform for gamers who have their own channels. Yours is Rack TV, and you've actually teamed up with Stacy and Single Parent Advocate to use that uh, venue to help single dads. Yeah, well, uh, my my background is is um, I, I own an IT business here in Dallas, you know, and that's cool. I enjoy what I do. I enjoy what I do with technology. So, you know, around 2018, I started branching out with it because I'm a born adventurer. So I always want to learn something different, want to do something different, want to try something different. And if I do the same thing for too long, I just start to go bonks, bonkers, which is, of course, a normal, you know, entrepreneurial business owner like mentality is you've yeah. got to find something else to do because just sitting at a desk, you're gonna go crazy. You know, so I started dabbling in Twitch streaming and gaming and, you know, and meeting folks. And and there's there's a whole joy to that because there's so many more people you can meet and learn, you know? And so I heard about what Stephanie's doing through, Stephanie, I'm so sorry, Stacy. Well, you know, Eric has two names. Stacy, Stephanie, (laughs) let's just go with amazing. (laughs) It's all about the amazing. (laughs) But, you know, hearing from my chamber what she was doing stood out to me because, you know, just, I'm, I'm not a single dad, but just being a dad, knowing the intensity and the pressure of knowing I have the responsibility to raise my son to be a man because he's only got about five years before, you know, I kick him in the rear and say, it's get out in the world and do something with yourself. You know, it's that's intense in and of itself. And I've got someone to help me out with that. But single dads, you know, they've just got them. And being being a dad and being a man, I know how hard it is with guys. You know, we don't want to talk about our vulnerabilities. We don't want to talk about how hard it is because it's ingrained in us to be the hero. We want to fix the problem. We want to do what we got to do. And we want to move on to the next thing. So we won't say, hey, we're having trouble here. We're going to go into fix it mode and do what we can to fix it. And so a lot of these dads, you know, they're going to have the trouble of trying to maintain kids and maintain a home and maintain income. And that's that's hard. To, that's really hard to do in and of itself. But not being able, not uh, not being able, but not really wanting to express, hey, I'm having a tough time here. I need some help, is also going to be a hard part of that, you know. And so when when uh, Stacy and I started talking, you know, just throwing ideas back and forth, I already felt like it was a perfect fit because you got the same sort of heart that I resonate with about getting the help that they need so that they can make it and give their kids a hope and a future. You know, oh, and, man. I'm sorry. I stepped right on you. Go ahead. No, and it's just scratching the surface because, you know, a lot of them are putting their dreams on the line because they want to take care of their kids. I've been telling stories on my channel so far since June 1st because we're doing this for the whole month of June, you know, to find ways to bring awareness, to bring 
uh, donate, whatever we can do to help single dads that are out there, even if it's in their own community, you know, it just doesn't have to stay. And I've been saying a lot, it's not just Dallas, you know, you can look in your own community and there's single dads there too. That's right. You know, what are they getting this Father's Day? So even just being here and, and helping with that awareness can make a huge difference. Well, your passion for this cause, I mean, is absolutely apparent. You've got a three minute video uh, on your Twitch channel, Rack TV, where you kind of lay out what this means for you and, and you get emotional in it. I mean, it's, you know, you and I talked about it yesterday before we taped the show. Uh, I love your passion for single dads, even though you're not in the boat with us. So, uh, you know, I, I, it says a lot about, about you and your character. So explain to me, put, put the rubber to road here. How are you using the channel to raise money for single parent advocates? Okay, well, uh, telling a lot of stories, whether it be local or not local, just about dads that are doing it on their own and have to do it. You know, uh, two is is donations. I'm I'm not a skill based streamer. I do it more for fun and goofing around. You know, so I have it set up for interaction. So, for example, tonight, and I got to prepare for this later, is I'm actually doing a pie in the face donation night. So I'm actually going to be giving myself Thinking a pie one in of the, the face, face for, for single parent advocate. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you've played that board game Pie Face, but I have that whole set up. <laughs> yes. So oh, they I'm can so, I'm spin I'm the wheel, it spins the wheel, and then you click it and click it. It's kind of like a, a, a pie in the face roulette. Oh. So they'll donate a little bit. We'll click it. And then it's either going to go off or it's going to be not. Or they can just give a straight set amount. And I'll just take a pie to the face. You oh, know? wow. I think I need but to be there for there's going to be I'm, – there's stu- I'm going to be doing stuff like that all month. You know, I'm planning something different for next Friday. You know, because Friday is more of a Twitch prime time. People are off Friday night. More gamers are around. You know, they'll be gaming, pull something up, listen to it. And if we could continue to bring forward that awareness, even if it's just about around laughter, then we're doing our job. You know, folks are laughing. And so I said it on my video. I said every sub, every donation, every bit is going to this cause this month because I want them to matter. I want them to know that they matter. Even if they don't want to tell their story, they matter. Well, for folks like me who aren't on the Twitch platform, how, how, how does that work? How, how, what's the, what's the mechanism for folks sending you money through the channel? Um, And if you go down on my channel and you don't, you don't even have to be logged in to do this on the bottom of my channel, there's a link there that says single parent advocate, you can click on the picture and it goes straight to the donation page. Awesome. Um, So you can go straight there, you can donate that way. If you wanna log in with a Twitch account and participate, by all means, I'm grateful. You know, we'll have a good time, that's what we're there for. But you don't don't have to do that. Even just being there, being present, you know, because I had a lot of folks send me a message said I don't have a lot of money, but I wanna support. I was like, look, being asking for donations, I'm not saying you have to do this. You know, just being here brings awareness. Being here, hanging out, says this matters to me. You know, for for the entire month, it's 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 about the awareness. Yeah, and you know, a lot of people, um, you know, they talk about giving time, talent, and treasure, right? You know, and yeah. so people can give influence. You know, they could right. uh, share it with with people they think might could give, or heck, you know, share it with a single dad and let that single dad know what's going on for that population. You know, I think, you know, sometimes when you know you're not in it alone and it's not just, yeah. it's not just uh, words, it's actions. It's people gathering together to say, you matter. Uh, to me, the best gift you can give a child is a happy, healthy, whole and hopeful parent right? Everything Mm -hmm. else can end up being a band-aid. It can be very helpful, but if you send a child back home to somebody who really is, you know, not feeling their best or needs a little shoring up or support, you know, shoring that person up, making them feel empowered, making them feel whole um, and accepted, like they don't have to hide. Um, gosh, you know, that spills over into the life of your child, you know, then all of a sudden they don't feel like there's something wrong with them. You know, they feel like, oh, my kind of family's okay. I can have a single dad family and we're fine. There's nothing broken about us. And um, I mean, you'd, you'd be you'd be amazed at what kids remember. You know, I, I, uh, I, I was telling my dad a couple of years ago, I talked to my dad and I, I bother him 
And that's a positive laughing. I love my dad term, but almost daily. I talk to him all the time. And I told him a couple of years ago, I said, dad, I remember when I was six or seven and you took me to Denny's for a milkshake, you know, and that was really cool. And he's like, I don't even remember that. And I was like, well, I mean, I remember that, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's those kinds of things that kids are going to remember, you know, and I was, I was reading a story to my channel the other night about a dad and, and uh, forgive me, I don't remember it word for word. But the dad had sacrificed his career and his job, took something lesser to take care of his daughter. And, you know, he was softball coaching and doing all those things, plus taking care of her. And, you know, growing up, that was what she remembered. Just him being there was the most important thing at all, you know. And as as dads, we're, we care a lot about success is important to men and doing things right and managing and making sure everything's are taken care of. But a lot of times the kids remember the smaller stuff. You know, and my question to you, Brent, I, I, of all the causes in the world that you could take up, I mean, obviously you're a dad, why not orphan children? Why not fatherless children? What is it about single dads that spoke to you that made you want to say, I'm going to take my hobby. I'm going to take my, you know, my effort and use that to benefit single dads. How, what, what, what about single dads spoke to you? Um, well, it, it, it hit me on a personal level. Again, I'm, I'm not a single dad. I have a partner to help me where I need it. But, you know, I had a moment a few weeks ago, maybe a month now, where it hit me hard that my kid has about five years before he moves off into the world. I've got five years to make a difference in the lives of my son. You know, and there's some blessings there that I've got some things to work with on him and can help him prepare for that. You know, but I've just got the one. There are dads out there who've got two or three or four, you know, or, four you know or just daughters. You know, I just have one son. You've got two daughters from what I understand, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I was telling Stacy, I mean, shh, you get to be the predator and I'm raising prey, you know, when it comes to dating and growing up and all that stuff, which just obviously it's a different in, in how you raise your kids. But only about five good years, what am I going to do with this time? You know, and there's single dads out there who are going to be working so hard just to maintain, just to get them to a point where their their kids can grow up and take care of them. And due to everything that's gone on, especially with COVID world, you know, a lot of those situations, it's, it's like you were saying earlier, some of them don't even have time to laugh and have fun. Right. You know, and all of that is important. And, and if I could spend some some of my time and some of my resources, some of what I can offer to maybe even give them a little bit of fun or put a smile on their face or do something that's beyond myself, then that's a win in my book. Then I feel like I'm really making an impact. Well, Brent, on behalf of all the single dads and, and including the ones that will benefit from, from, you know, your Twitch channel. Thank you. It's a, you know, like I, I could, I watched the video and if you haven't seen the video, folks, I highly recommend it. Uh, Brent, like I said, he gets emotional. And, and that was the first thing that spoke to me. I immediately called you afterward because I like to talk to our guests before we have you guys on. Uh, and, and I and I told you, I said, I, I appreciate your your passion for the cause of single dads. And, uh, you know, it's really timely with 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 uh, Father's Day right around the corner. Yeah, it's again, it's it's what I can do. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's about you guys. You know, it's about you and what you're trying to do for your kids. And as much as possible, obviously, I love to meet new people, but, you know, it's something bigger than me. And that's what yeah. I'm trying to keep the focus on. Yeah. Well, so for the folks that, that want to watch you take a pie to the face today for Stacy and single parent advocate and all the single dads. Uh, he run, did not run ask down me to take again. any pies. <laughs> I, I did not. You know, I was actually talking with the local vendor earlier. And they're like, you probably should just do it this way because, you know, we don't want anybody to get hurt taking pies. I said, look, actually, it's just me taking the abuse. I haven't asked anybody to take it with me, you know, but again, you know, whatever I can do to help folks out, I'll take a pie to the face. Now, are these pies like whipped cream pies or are they like coconut cream pies? Like, are you going to be wasting good pies? Oh, no, this is the first time I know. Well, I can't eat them anyway, so I'm not going to go too, too fancy uh -huh. and I'm throwing them in the face. So um, I will, it's going to be a creative Like a key pie lime pie. Not anything too fancy. Oh, oh that's sacrilege, Stacy. We don't waste key lime pies. Don't waste like key lime pie, no. <laughs> no, don't waste a key lime pie and don't waste a peanut butter pie. Oh, peanut, uh, butter, peanut butter pie. Peanut butter pies are good too. Um, but if folks want to watch the event and, and participate in it and donate, how do they do that? 
Well, I mean, as it goes right now, I'm at 8.30 p.m. Central. I'm online, um, and I try to do that just about every night. Obviously, every now and then something happens and I can't, but most nights I'm on at about 8.30 Central. I'll be on about 8.30 Central tonight. And uh, yeah, come on, come on by. And, and, and again, forgive my ignorance, is that twitch.com? Yeah, twitch, uh, you go to twitch uh, twitch.com forward slash rack TV, or you can go to twitch.com and put rack TV in the search box. And that's rack with two C's. Rack with two C's, R A C C T V. Short for, awesome. it's a shorter term for raccoon. You know, Daryl, um, people who like to game from their phones can download a Twitch app and look up rack TV on the app on their mobile device too, or tablet. Awesome. This is true. Awesome. You can lay on your couch. Uh, you won't fall asleep eventually, but you know, we'll get you there. All of this technology, of course, is lost on me. Well, we'll get you there, Daryl. We'll get you there. No worries. Uh, Stacy, let's remind folks, uh, if they want to contribute to Father's Day, where do we go? How do we do it? So you go to singleparentadvocate.org. There's a donate button. Uh, we have, we've been working on m developing multiple ways for people to give, but you can push the donate button. There's a text to give phone number that's up on the, you know, nav bar up at the top if you're on your mobile device. And then also we have a donate page where, you know, you can get involved with other ways to give, whether that's through smile.amazon, uh, BBVA bank, um, you want to donate on paypal that options there so talk to me we talked about the bbva talk to me about the amazon smile uh, what, what's how does that work so smile.amazon is a, a program that's existed for many many moons and basically a charity applies with amazon to become an eligible charity for uh, people who shop online to uh, designate them and uh, then amazon will in turn kick back uh, you know, affiliated money, you know, back to the charity as a donation. So what's really cool about it is if you're online buying something on Amazon or buying a book or some music and you go to smile.amazon.com instead of regular amazon.com, you choose single parent advocate as your charity. And then basically it's the same experience you would have but then it empowers amazon to send donations to single parent advocate as a small percentage of whatever it is that you spend so it's a great way for single parents to get involved with developing relief and awareness for the needs of our community because we don't have to spend any money outside of what we're already having to spend right it's kind of like with banking you know if you go to bbva and choose single parent advocate as your charity you're banking there's no extra fees but a certain percent portion of that gets back to our community and so um I'm trying to continue to develop all of those kinds of ways so that we can be a part of the change that we seek. So it's not like a, you round up your change on your purchase. This is something that Amazon, Amazon pays, does. Mm -hmm. pays you separately. Yep. So you can, if you're on Audible and you're listening to podcasts or you're buying books or you're buying groceries or you know other items on Amazon. We're all uh, on Amazon anyway. I mean, I was on yeah. Amazon before we started the show smile.amazon.com and uh, select your charity we hope it'll be single parent advocate and you're doing good just by shopping we awesome. even kicked off a, another program that i just put onto the website called make shopping count and it's for people who go to sam's or who shop uh you know uh at all different kinds of retail outlets like macy's mm -hmm. and um you can go to make shopping count uh, you can open up an account and uh, I have a link on the donate page now and you can shop through that program and that organization will kick 2% to single parent advocate. So I'm really trying to build these bridges so single parents, single moms, single dads, people who support our community can do what they need to do without too many extra steps and then uh, you know start creating uh, revenue so that we can start reaching out to more and more families, single dads, certainly included in that. So many different ways to support your efforts, uh, Stacy. Of course, I still like sending folks to singleparentadvocate.com or .org rather and click the uh, click the donate button. Click there. the donate button. Yeah. That's easy peasy. 
But Brent, thank you so much for joining us this week. Uh, us this week again. It's Rack TV on Twitch. Brent Sutcliffe, his channel there, raising money for single parent advocate folks. Thanks again for following us on wherever, whatever platform you're listening to us on. Thank you for listening to us every week, and we will see you next time. <laughs>